Hi, my name is Russell Barnett. I'm the Managing Director and CMO at My Mochi Ice Cream based out of Los Angeles, California. My Mochi is a sweet rice dough wrapped around premium ice cream. It's handheld, it's portion controlled, it's a snack that happens to be frozen. And we bought an ice cream company, or actually a Japanese uh, frozen, I'm sorry, Japanese uh, baked uh, goods and confection company in uh, 2015. It was a fourth generation uh, company that, that invented mochi ice cream in Los Angeles in 20, uh, sorry, 1993. And when we bought the company, the investment thesis was to bring mochi to the masses. So we launched the My Mochi brand in 2017, and five short years later, we've created the category, the mochi ice cream category, really the poppables category in, in uh, the frozen novelty space. And we have a line of dairy as well as non-dairy and vegan items that we sell out at scale to major retailers like Target and Walmart. I would say the biggest piece for the plant-based industry at scale is moving away from terms like alternative to moving into terms like option. If you're, if you're an alternative, it's when you've got something bad or you're trying to overcome something. When you're an option, you're automatically in the consideration set. And so I would move to use words like option that are inclusive words, not exclusionary words that require people to sort of overcome something that they may not be happy with or proud of. I think, I think there's a couple of things that, that, that have to advance the plant-based industry. The first is don't forget these are people, people first. And they have emotions and they're humans and they're not a number and they, their drivers are things that they see out in the real world and they're the people and so texture and taste are real things and how people feel about those textures and tastes and where their forgiveness is or isn't it, it's it's real and it's not a number and so when people are developing products think about what that think about what that that emotive state is think of what that what that need state is and then develop the product backwards never forgetting that they're people and that texture and taste have got to drive it because it'll drive their wallet.